Hello, everyone. Welcome to my alma mater, Queen's College. Come on, I'll show you what we have here. Wow, your secondary school is spacious. Is that your report card? I bet you were the smartest student in class. When I look at the report with my picture, which is taken when I was a primary school student, I'm very touched. In year one, I was ranked number 30 in a class of 40. But I worked hard, so from form one or year one to year five, I ascend step by step. Actually, my best result was in the final year. I like physics because we have fantastic physics teachers. Good teachers can bring the interest out of you. And I like uh, biology uh, because in biology, we have to deal with animals and we have to do a little dissection, almost like a surgeon. We catch earthworms from the lawn outside there because we have to dissect earthworms, uh, rats, and also cockroaches. Those are fascinating days. No wonder you chose to be a doctor when you grew up. Dr. Sung is not just a doctor, he's a teacher and a researcher too. Actually, he was the vice chancellor of the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Wow, which hat do you like most, Professor Sung? I actually feel that uh, becoming a doctor, uh, looking after the poor and the sick, is the part of my career that I'm most proud of. I know you are a doctor who takes care of people's digestive systems. Where do you work now, Professor Song? Well, I've been working at the Prince of Wales Hospital since after I graduated from medical school, and that was in 1984. So basically, I have been working here for more than a quarter of a century. Well, this is where I learn, where I teach, where I work with people. Uh, and my career uh, is developing here, so I enjoy being here a lot. So, this is my home. Have you ever experienced any difficulties in your career? Some of you may remember in year 2003, there was a mysterious infectious disease called SARS that hit Hong Kong. And in a period of uh, six months, we have been constantly facing life and death situation. Many of our colleagues actually come down with the illness and uh, so that was a big challenge and that leaves uh, a lot of memories uh, in my heart. As head of the department and the leader of the whole team, I have to show people that I do care of them so I provide them with all the necessary protection before I send them into the war zone, that is the infectious disease ward. And secondly, uh, I have to tell them that uh, we are uh, constantly facing challenges, but we are all the time together. So um, I do not just send people in. I myself walk into the ward and work with them. What does challenge mean to you? Challenge means that you go into uncharted water. You step into an area that you are not so familiar with. You may or may not know how to deal with the difficulty and you feel a, a bit uncomfortable uh, to deal with such a situation. But this is the time that you will learn new lessons. This is the time that you may succeed or you may fail, but on looking back, it always brings good lessons. I've learned a very good lesson from you today. I want to be a doctor in the future. Then you have to be really smart. It doesn't need to be super smart. It doesn't take IQ of 130 to become a doctor. But it's more important to really work hard and learn every day. Also be sensitive to the need of your patients because what they need is more than just medicine, more than just surgery, but they need somebody who care about them. Give them um, the biggest comfort and keep them with their dignity. I wish I could be a good doctor like you. Me too. What motivates you to move forward, Professor Sung? When I look at the batch 
uh, which uh, has our uh, motto, which is Labor Omnia Vincit. And in Chinese, it means Kan Yao Gong. There is no shortcut to success. You really have to pay effort. You really have to work really, really hard in order to achieve something in your life. So I'd like to leave with you uh, the motto of our school that hard works will bring you success. Thank you, Professor Song. Thank you for your advice. What are you planning to do in the future? I have received an appointment from uh, Singapore to take up a Dean of Medicine's job at the Nanyang Technological University starting uh, March 2021. So uh, I plan to develop artificial intelligence in practice of medicine. And that will be an exciting uh, last chapter of my career, I would say. Wish, Wish you every, every success, success in the, in the future, future, Professor, Professor Song. Song.